Have you seen the TikTok tattoo drama? I have. Um, so the drama on TikTok right now is there is someone who does these like courses to teach you how to make money, mo make more money as a tattoo artist. So his thing is you should be charging your clients for the sketches that you do for the tattoos and you should be taking larger deposits. So there's this woman who made a TikTok that she went to this tattoo artist who's Tattoo work is not great, to be honest. It's not great. It's nowhere near what she was charging. Um, the tattoo artist asked for like a thousand dollar deposit or something, which is astronomical. Most tattoo artists ask you between, yeah, it's the fox lady. They ask you between a hundred to like maybe five hundred dollars for a deposit. Um, you don't pay for the sketch time. No, which is kind of also ridiculous, but your deposit usually kind of goes towards that because if you pay your deposit, most of the times the deposits are non-refundable. So that money kind of goes towards it. The base design fee was $1,500 with one small edit. Yeah. So the lady's like, I want a fox. I want an, uh, and she sent references and it was like an entire full body fox with like maybe some leaves around it. Um, and so the tattoo artist got back to her and was like, um, here's your design. It's going to cost you $1,500 and you can have one edit to it. This doesn't go towards the tattoo cost. Uh, was it just for the bicep or the whole sleeve? Just this area up here. And so, um, this tattoo artist sketch, I can do it right now on paint, literally. I will make it for you. And you're gonna, I'm, I'm sorry, you're gonna owe me $1,500 after this, uh, and you do not get an edit, so. Let's see, where is it? What have I done? What is this? Okay. So I'm gonna show you, uh, what this person was charging $1,500 for. Are you ready? So there were some like flowers here with some leaves, um, which they did not ask for the focus to be the flowers. Flowers like this, pretty much this level of detail. and maybe a leaf here. And then the fox was here, like this. And then it had one paw like up and one paw down. And this is what she was trying to charge $1,500 for. And the lady was like, actually, I wanted it. <laughs> actually, I wanted it to be a full body fox. And the lady was like, well, you didn't say that. And she's like, well, the references I sent you were a full bodied fox. Um, do not print screen yours. And the lady's like, you didn't do anything that I wanted you to do. And the lady's like, well, sorry, these are my prices. Let's see. Hers is, well, it's a little bit more detailed than mine, but really not by much. So this is what the tattoo, this is what $1,500 gets you from this lady with no refund. This is what she was charging fifteen hundred dollars that's worse than what you drew no well maybe actually so then the lady was like oh like this is not what i wanted like i want it to be different and the lady's like well if you want me to change it it's another sixteen hundred dollars and none of this money goes towards the tattoo i don't know if she paid for it or if she got a refund I have a fox on my arm with flowers. Stop calling it bad chat. I'm crying. Pet, I think you only had to do like a $100 deposit or something 
typically when you get a tattoo like that, especially for a longer day, um, then it's, you pay like 100 to 500 for a deposit. And this has always been my experience. And usually the tattoo artist will be like, do you want this deposit when you go to see them and you go to get the tattoo? They're like, do you want this deposit to go towards this session or do you want it to just come off at the end? And so usually what I do is I'm like, oh, just take it off at the end. So then you get your entire tattoo done and then they're like, okay, well today normally it would be 500, but since uh, you gave me a hundred dollar deposit, it's just 400 today, which usually I pay the full 500 because I tip my tattoo artists like super well because most of the time they're not charging enough anyways. I did used to be a tattoo artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So then, basically, this person's getting slammed. Someone found, uh, which she's like, please stop naming me. People are harassing me. Um, I know who it was. And so someone found a screenshot where she commented on that dude whose class course she went to about how to extort people, basically. And she goes, wow, like, this is so great. I've made $17,000 uh, in the last two weeks from this method. So she scammed people out of $17,000. But now she's been, like, nationally, at least, if not internationally banned from tattoo conventions. Um, her shop has been, like, they're like, oh... We don't do walk-ins and things like that, and they're getting slammed. It's just kind of ridiculous. I don't understand why people would pay. Why not say, lol, no, get fucked? Well, people, I think, are not only intimidated by the process of getting a tattoo, but they're not well educated in the process of, like, what it means to get a tattoo. So they probably were like, oh, this is normal. You know what I mean? It's really easy to take advantage of people. Yeah. Yes, okay, I saw that too, Mothrax. The other thing that I saw was someone approached to be her uh, apprentice, and she was like, okay, well, here's what you can do. You can either pay me $10,000, um, and I'll teach you blah, 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 or you can work at my shop for free if you just let me keep what you earn. And the girl's like, okay, that doesn't sound too bad. And she's like, um, yes, and you'll work at my shop, uh, and I'm gonna go retire to Mexico, and then you give me all the money that you earn. And the girl's like, actually, that doesn't sound good anymore. So no. So it just sounds like she's a fucking asshole. The other TikTok drama with tattoos is there is a person who's been tattooing for over 10 years or so, who does the worst fucking tattoos ever and people still keep going to her. So, um, that's another lady entirely, though. But this lady is pretty much screwed until she changes her name. Show us one. I don't remember what her name is, so I wouldn't be able... If I Google it, I can probably see it. Uh, TikTok bad tattoos. Bad tattoo. Oh, it's this one. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this person has been tattooing for over 10 years. Anyone want to guess what or who this is? Any guesses? Any guesses? It's Wednesday. She does the dance. She has uh, fingers like this. Um, she has fingers. Uh, her face looks like that. The thing guy is up here. So, um, yeah, this person has been tattooing for over 10 years. And people were like, hey, you should probably just either not or like you know because she's also apparently like a jerk um yeah how do you see that stencil and say yeah that's good 
here's the thing, Stu. Um, her gimmick is she does blindfold tattoos, which I think means that either... Sh well, it looks like it means she wears the blindfold, but uh, the thing is, the person wears a blindfold and they just kind of get what they get. I saw a really bad Lara Croft tattoo a while ago and I just felt bad for the person. Looking at shitty tattoos is a pretty fun, like, little entertainment uh, thing. <laughs> yeah. So she, she does that. She does that. A shop where they get you to sign an NDA. Well, she TikToks all of her things that she does. It's really bad. Sucky tattoos on Instagram is one of my favorite accounts. Me too. I love them. Um, all right. A UK show where couples pick tattoos. That show is just horrible. That show's horrible. They're... That is not, like, I don't think any of it's real, and it's really bad, because they, someone got one, I think they got, they made their best friend get slut tattooed on them or something. I would get a tattoo that says that, but that's me consenting to it, and also I wouldn't want someone else to pick it out for me, because I think that's funny. Why not? 